Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Wait, people. <laughs> Look. What is up, y'all? It's your boy Nick, and I'm here with a uh, interesting video. Now, 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 look, now, look. I'm gonna be honest. As you all know, actually, y'all probably don't know. Look, I don't know why I would pause for so long. But look, I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I did a whole. I reacted to some lady. I don't know if I put it up yet by the time this came up or not, but um, I reacted to some lady. She made like some smooth, like jelly, like peanut butter jelly. It was disgusting. Let's just let's just, let's just let's be honest. It was it was very disgusting, very disgusting. And then I see this. Then I see this. Now. Why? <laughs> Why? Peanut butter and jelly wings. Why? Just why? 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 <laughs> now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I've seen somebody do something similar to this before. I think it was it was it I think it was Pooty Pooty did something something similar to this, like a chocolate chip uh wings or Kool-Aid wings or something. Some something something on the line of that, like no, <laughs> that pony ball, he was trolling. I'm pretty 100%. Nobody would ever eat no Kool Aid fried chicken or uh chocolate chip fried chick. No, no, but this, now I gonna lie to you. I don't know. I guess this man changed the thumbnail like five times because he did have another thumbnail that had, that had the same title and they actually look kind of good. I ain't gonna lie to you, but this right here, this thumbnail, this thing looks absolutely disgusting. Who would ever makes a peanut butter and jelly wink? Like what? No. Why? Why? Why would you do that? People are that bored in quarantine that they are just sitting up here making whatever they want to make, bro. Like, no, this should be illegal. This should actually be illegal. Like, you should actually get arrested. I just have no words, bro. I don't I don't, I don't see how this why? Like what like what what made you do this? Like, bro, we watched a lady make jelly peanut butter and like bro y'all y'all taking it too far bro just simply put peanut butter and jelly on all on a sandwich literally now i'm just gonna hope that everyone has accepted that a drum is a wing i feel like i've made myself abundantly clear on this but i'll say it louder one last time for those in the back drums are wings drums are the best kind of wings they have a nice bulbous shape which allows you to get crispy on the i didn't know they considered that i mean a lot of people people get really like defensive about wings and stuff like me bro it's like at the same at the end of the day bro it's all just chicken bro and here's another thing bro some of y'all i know a lot of y'all you know wing connoisseurs or whatever be like bro what do you prefer bone in and boneless i like boneless i like boneless now you can call me here the, here's the here's the insults oh he's a kid i don't care i don't care it's literally chicken at the end of the day. Whether it's on the bone or not does not make a difference of how tasty it does. At least to me, it doesn't. Like, bro, you can go into any wing, wing, wing place. I'm not going to say wing stop because, I mean, that you, that's actually a restaurant. But you can go to any wing place, whatever, you know, uh, get boneless chicken and get... It's literally the same meat, bro. This one's boneless and one is not boneless, bro. Like, bro, there's no difference. They don't do art artificial, like... It's most places. I don't know what places y'all been to, but I've been to some places. Bro, they literally just strip the chicken off the wing, uh, off the off of off of a regular chicken, and just like like you know, <laughs> you do the egg yolk thing, whatever, and then just smash it and put it and fry it, bro. It's like literally, there's no difference, bro. Like I don't I don't see some even 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 the, you know what I mean like, bro. I don't know. People try to differentiate differentiate the difference between boneless wings chicken nuggets and tenders they said they're all the same thing no it's not all the same thing but that's beside that's a different point look i like boneless chicken i like boneless chicken wings i don't care bro i don't care i don't want to sit up here and have to worry about biting a bone on a wing you get mind you y'all do know y'all get less meat in the in the chicken wing bone in than you do bone right but i'm a child because i don't i don't want to eat bone bone in wings 
I don't want to have to deal with all that. You were left with a messy salute. You are left with messy solutions at the end of the day. Boneless chicken wing, all you gotta do, stop. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Or you can eat it with a fork. If you have sauce on it. Messless. Easy. Don't even have to worry about it. A bone a bone in chicken wing, you have to physically pick it up. You can't eat it with a fork and knife. You have to physically pick it up. Now you got all this residue on your hand. You constantly wipe it. That's just disgusting. I could easily just use it. Bro, I could just easily just get a boneless chicken wing, get a fork, or pick it up with my hand, whatever. If I got sauce on it, just pick it up with a fork, dip a little bit in my in my cool in my uh in my uh blue rain, uh blue, uh not blue rain. That's what I say uh uh blue cheese, whatever. You know what I'm saying? This, this that, and the third, and it's just done. I don't get some of y'all. Y'all really try to make people feel childish because they eat boneless chicken wings, but yet y'all the ones look stupid when y'all got all this mess on your face. And I'm sitting up here just. <laughs> I had that. I don't have the problem. And then you gotta sit up here and go watch, watch in the bathroom. I'm already playing video games by the time you're done, bro. I already, I already did like two, two bosses by the time you're done, like, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just more of a efficient eater than some of y'all. You know what I mean? As you can tell. You know what I mean? But like, bro, I don't get why people try to, you know, chastise you for eating boneless chicken wings. Like, it's a, like, it's like it's a crime, bro. You clearly like to get messy. I see you, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not that type of person. I don't like to get messy. I don't even really like chicken like that in the first I mean, I do like chicken. Don't get twisted. I don't really like fried chicken. But chicken nevertheless, bro, like, you know what I mean? The less messy something is, the more satisfying I think it is. To me personally. I don't get some of y'all people how y'all eat and y'all just be messy. Like, I don't know how y'all were raised, but some of y'all, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I, it couldn't be me. That's all it is, bro. But I will agree, though, that the drumstick is definitely the best part of the chicken. Facts. The outside while protecting the inside for a really juicy interior. It's very simple. But what I'm about to do today may make some people angry and I'm totally okay with that. It's gonna be hard for me to defend this one though because I'm making peanut butter and jelly wings. PB and J, who doesn't love that? My thought is crumbly peanuts are often found on wings, especially in Thai cuisine and perhaps others. And crumbly peanuts with lime. I mean, that's facts, but where does the jelly come in into this, in this, you know what I mean? Where does the jelly come into this? Now, to be honest with you, I think it would be more interesting if he just made some grilled chicken, right? Hear me out on this. Make some grilled chicken, make a peanut butter sandwich, put the grilled chicken inside it on the sandwich, and then put the peanut and put the jelly on there. Still, still sounds disgusting, but it could work. Lime tastes amazing. But what about crumbly peanuts with a little bit of tart jelly? You don't have to think of jelly as some really sweet thing. Sure, I'll add a little bit of sugar to brighten it up a little bit, but I'll focus on that tart flavor. Really what I'm doing is subbing out that lime for a little bit of raspberry and a little bit of blueberry. I get it now. Okay, so this actually might taste, okay, so this actually might taste good then. Okay, I see. So it's more like a glaze. Okay, okay. You got me, you got me. So it's all about testing out these new flavors. Are peanut butter and jelly wings gonna be good? First, I need my peanuts, and there's only one way to mash them up. Looks pretty good, no? Now let's go in with a bunch of our nice homemade jelly. This is either gonna be really good or really bad, and already it actually looks like PB&J because of the color of the wings. As always, everybody, toss them up and don't be afraid to get messy. This is a kitchen after all. We have somehow ended up with more jelly on our cutting board than we actually have in our bowl, but that's fine because these wings look pretty well coated to me. I'll finish them off with a little peanut crumble on top and one more little toss and these are ready to eat. I can't wait. To begin, a quick little crunch test to make sure we pass that part of the test. Mmm. Mmm, there it is. Ooh. I'm happy we passed the crunch test. And I'll be honest, I got nervous for a second because all this blueberry raspberry jelly on here can make it soggy pretty fast, which was my biggest worry. I guess if you were really dedicated to this and you wanted to keep it crispy while getting those flavors, you could use a few dehydrated berry powders. Let's give this a little taste and see how it compares to a regular set of wings as well as a PB&J. You know what? At first, I came into this talk thinking that it would be disgusting, but then I think about all the things that I've said and what I did, and low key, I think this. I feel like this wouldn't. I feel like this is actually probably flat. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought he was gonna put like peanut butter, like actual peanut butter, 
on the chicken as well as actual jelly. The way he did it makes more sense now that I came into this. Because I'm just like thinking about it like, bro, low key, if you think about it, like, bro. You put like a... Uh, you put like a uh, some jelly on like on a like on a, on a biscuit or something, right? Like let, let's say y'all go to like McDonald's or something. I don't go to McDonald's because McDonald's trash. But let's say y'all go to McDonald's, y'all get like a what is it, a McChicken? Y'all put some of that jelly on, right? Is that isn't that basically the same thing? Isn't that basically the same thing? You can't tell me that don't slap. Y'all can't t not tell me that don't slap. Now the only difference is now you're putting peanut butter, like not peanut butter, but you're putting like peanut flakes on it and stuff. That's where probably where it gets to me. But at the same time, this is coming from a man that puts fruit on his burgers. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is coming from a man that puts literally put literal fruit on his burgers and put jelly on his burgers. And it tastes amazing. I get it. Yeah, so, yeah, look. I know. But look, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, eh, this one not bad. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Blah, 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 blah. Notification bell to be notified when I'm uploading a video, which is every single day. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Uh, I already said all that. I love y'all. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I know.